John the Baptist was a man of conviction. We said that. John the Baptist was sure of his group, of his mission, of his policy, of his position in life. How many of us can say that? How many of us can say on a daily basis, I am certain that this is the right path for me. This is the right way for me. This is where I'm supposed, this is who I am and what I'm supposed to do. I'm 34 years old and I still can't say that. I'm guessing, I'm making it up as I go along. I have to admit that. Life is, for me, I go by the whole process that life is two parts memorization and 98 parts improvisation because you make it up as you go along. There are sometimes I question why I'm doing what I'm doing here. But John knew this. He was certain. And he knew from his birth what he was supposed to do. And here we have him starting to doubt. Is this the guy I was talking about? Is this the person that I was supposed to prepare the way for? This Jesus character, he's not doing things the way I, I imagined it should be done. People were expecting a Jesus, a Messiah, to come and be a political leader, a, a valiant king who's going to wipe out the Romans, kick them out of Israel, put Israel back in the hand of the Israelites, give Jerusalem back to the Jews. Let's get these guys out. And what does Jesus do? He wanders around the countryside, homeless, feeding people, touching people, healing people, just before this meant the things that Jesus, the things that the disciples went back to tell John were the fact that he just raised the widow's son from the grave. He healed a centurion servant. He, he, he spoke many words. He's done all these miraculous things. And John's disciples are telling John, this is what's happening. This is what this Jesus is doing. Is this the Jesus that you want us to talk about? And John started having his doubts. Maybe this isn't the right guy. Maybe he's not completely the right person. I don't know. He's not showing me the power that I, was, but I know that the Messiah is supposed to have. But I was so certain. I was so sure. Jesus isn't working the way I want him to. God's not doing what I want him to do through this Jesus. Oh my gosh. How many times have, you, have I thought that? How many times have I thought, Jesus, you're not working the way I want you to. You're not doing what I expect you to do. You're, fall, you're failing me, God. You're not working out the way I want you to. This whole Christianity thing, it's harder than I thought. This mission thing, or, or this is what you wanted me to do? John started doubting. Is it okay to doubt Jesus? Is it okay to doubt God? Did Jesus look at John's disciples and say, go tell that idiot. Go tell that dummy stuck in prison. Yeah, I am Jesus. I'm the guy he's talking about. He doubted me, he's going to die. Is that what Jesus said to John? No. No. Jesus told John what he was doing. I don't want you guys to think, I mean, there's a lot of other, if you've traveled with Christ any amount of time, there are going to be times in your life where you're going to just Say, what's it worth? Is it worth it? Am I doing what's right? Is, is, is this even, this isn't, is, is, am I even a Christian? Am I even saved? If it hasn't happened to you yet, it's going to. I want to tell you right now, it's okay to have those questions. It's okay to think Maybe I'm not this way, or it's okay to doubt. Some of, some of you may have never heard that before. Some of us think, when I was growing up, when I heard, I knew people who said, if you doubt ever, if you ever doubt once you become a Christian, then you're not saved. You never. Well, maybe that's true. But maybe it's not. If you're going through a doubt, there's a reason for it. 
has to show that it's for it gives God a chance to show who he truly is and what his true purpose is in your life. Because this is the, it's the message that Jesus sent back to John. It's this. He said, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have good news brought to death. Does that sound familiar to you? Go back a couple verse, a couple chapters into Luke chapter 4. There's a story of when Jesus was speaking. Jesus got a chance to speak at his home church. And uh, he got up and he read a scroll. It was a scroll of Isaiah. He unrolled it in the scroll and he found the place where it was written. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim the release of the captive and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the favor, the, the, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. And the eyes of all the synagogue were upon him. And then he began to say, Today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. He says, You want to know if I'm the Messiah or not? This is what Isaiah said about the Messiah. That through the Messiah, through God, the poor are going to be released from oppression. The blind are going to get their sight. The lame are going to walk again. The deaf will hear again. Jesus says, you don't think I'm doing what I was called to do. You don't think I am doing what I'm supposed to do, what the Messiah is going to do. Well, look at what my word says he's going to do. And this is what I'm doing. And they sent that message back to John. And that is what all John needed to hear. We think we've got God figured out. We think we get God figured out most of the time. And we think we know what Jesus is supposed to do and how he's supposed to work. But then he says something like this. And we realize, whoa, maybe God doesn't work the way I admired him. <coughs> Maybe he doesn't work the way that I think he should. He works his own way. He works the way he tells me to work. He says, the important thing isn't that I kick the Romans out. The important thing is, isn't that I give you power. The important thing is that the blind see, the lame walk, the oppressed are freed. That's the important thing. And that's what he does, and, and, and that's what he's doing. That's what he did here.